Because I want to bring in NBC's Julia Ainsley, who's been reporting on the humanitarian crisis at the border for so long now. So, Julia, you know, there's a lot of, I guess, political semantics and a lot of talk about root causes, et cetera. But what is it that you could distill from what was said at the State Department now? So this is all, Jose, about the Biden administration's strategy to try to make it harder for migrants to come across the southern border and claim asylum there and make it easier to apply legally from their home countries. In fact, the most important news they're announcing today is on these new processing centers that they'll be opening up in countries throughout Central and South America, starting with those in Guatemala and Colombia, where migrants can come and apply to come to the United States as refugees. And if they don't qualify for that, they could enter maybe on a pathway through labor if they have a particular job or skill set they can perform here. The issue here is, though, Jose, and I've spoken to a number of people inside DHS about this, is that that process takes a while, A, to set up the processing centers, B, to get vetted. It usually takes about two years to come to the United States as a refugee. And for a lot of these people, they feel that they're running out of options. Meanwhile, we already know that the Biden administration plans to make anyone who crosses the border who did not first apply for asylum in a country they passed through ineligible to apply for asylum in the United States. A lot of people have said that's similar to the Trump transit ban floated by Stephen Miller that was eventually struck down in courts. They say it's different because they're opening up these other legal pathways. But people I've spoken to inside DHS says there's a lot of anxiety that no matter what they do to restrict uh, border crossings at the southern border or to open up new legal pathways to make that more of a systematic thing, they are worried they're going to run out of space and that there will be migrants sleeping on the street in cities like El Paso. Scenes you and I saw just last December when they talked about lifting Title 40 now that it seems all but certain that will lift, we know they're already short about $3 billion and that they're already at capacity within CBP. And migrant uh, shelter operators that I've spoken to in El Paso say they already have about 1,000 migrants sleeping on the street in that city. And there are as many as 35,000 sleeping in Juarez waiting to cross Jose. So either way, this is going to be potentially very chaotic, uh, at least at the beginning when Title 42 lifts in just two weeks. Julie Ainsley, I thank you so very much. Really appreciate it.